Hello, welcome to Unicycle.com videos. Today it's another request and I know I did a penny farthing video last time, it's not on this time. But this is very relevant and I've had multiple requests for this. Now, the, I've been requested, I've just come back, a new t-shirt by the way, I hope you like the t-shirt. This is uh, what we're going to talk about. It was the Swedish four day, well it actually says three day, it was actually four days, um, but it's three days of racing. Um, amazing it was in sweden and the simple question how did i take my penny farthing there so i did actually take a penny farthing the event would have loaned me a penny farthing but come on i have a penny farthing i want to take it so i did so how did i do it so if we can i have a quality i've come back nothing's washed this is as i've unpacked it so here laid out is actually what i took so, um, I'll just basically show you what we've got here. We've got, obviously, the wheel. Comes off easy. Everyone will know how to do that. I've got my race cranks on from the last race. Nice and short, fast. The frame, saddle, handlebars. You've probably seen these before in the videos. I, I've moved the thing around, but these are my race handlebars. Um, standard handlebars. I didn't take them this time. If I'd taken these, they would have been easier to pack, but I didn't. We have rather awkward handlebars. Switch it around to make it slightly smaller. Um, I'll come back to that. It's for my Garmin. Sits on the front of the bike. Front handlebars. Brakes. Brakes. So obviously those two go together. Spare cranks, which is actually used on some of the races as well. These are the triple hole cranks, the standard ones. Um, excellent product. We've got the front um, forks. We've got the rear forks with the wheel in. Now that is how it was actually all packed. The reason I've grabbed this out of the way is something you haven't seen before because it's not standard. The rear fork, it doesn't have a rear step on. I've cut it off. The reason it was cut off originally was I do all the prototyping. We actually have, I have different um, rear steps. This is the standard step just with a bit of, bit of um, uh, insulation on so it's, it's smoother and offers better grip. There are different versions, but actually for packing, this really helped me. Um, and it's just taped on. Um, and most of the time, that's perfectly okay. Um, now, my aim when I went was to have everything inside the wheel. And this is what I did last year. I took one bag and everything was inside the wheel. So I actually removed four spokes. They're actually, I've still got the tape on. These are the four spokes. I took the four spokes out and the wheel rear wheel will slip inside. The rear fork will slip inside. The handlebars will slip inside. You know, the whole lot will, will, will actually go inside. Now, this year, slightly different plan because two of us went. So I took the wheel with some of the things inside and I took a bag with the other stuff. So that's actually how I did pack it. So I will show you what I did. So the items went that went inside the wheel were the handlebar, the seat, and that's it. And I actually had bags with my race clothes inside the wheel. It actually, everything was inside the wheel and I used cable ties to hold them in place. So they're not rattling around, they're held in place. So actually, that is pretty well what we've got. Now, how do I pack the rest of the things and how do I pack these? We'll start off, let's look at how I pack that wheel. Let me get those out of the way. So the first thing I did, I need to protect the wheel. So let's pick it up and move across here. Because I've got a big blanket. It's it's um, 
a, a shipping blanket, they're dirt cheap. I think they're a pound each, they're for when you're moving house. And I've just cut it up, put it on a sewing machine and make a ring. So let's, let's put that back for a sec. And this is just sewn, so it's, I can slip the wheel inside. Now you can see on the top of this, there is a little smiley piece. Now that smiley piece is how I held the frame. Now this year I have realized I had an alternative. I didn't do that, I did actually do this. But I have realized there is something else that could have fitted inside the frame. My frame actually fits inside the wheel. I didn't do that this time, but I could have. So, that's my bag for everything inside. I also made a series of socks. So the socks go over the cranks. The cranks are the things that will get bashed. And also, they go over the end of the, the rear seat, rear wheel. So just just a sock, goes over that, doesn't matter, made it too long, doesn't matter, there we go, protect it from getting damaged. Okay, next thing, so this is the outside bag, now this bag is a canvas bag, the canvas is dirt cheap, I didn't spend lots of money on this, broad, 25mm, 1 inch, um, uh, tape I mean it's really robust it's it, it's great for making handles that goes all the way around so it's stitched so it goes all the way around I have velcro across and I have clips to close it over so I also I don't know if you can see but I have an additional patch in the middle I have that on both sides because if it's going to get hit, it's going to get hit in that middle part. If it gets hit on the tyre, on the outside, it's no problem. This was my first try at making a bag for a penny farthing. I didn't make it perfect. I thought this would be a good place for having the split. If I did this again, I'd put the split in the middle. It's a nightmare to get apart, and I actually ripped it the first time. So I've got Velcro at the side also so that I can get the wheel in and out. So, yes, let me see if I can open this up a little bit. This Velcro is great. <laughs> so you can see I have like an envelope. I can slot the wheel in its um, blanket inside here. So, when I was traveling, I had my wheel with a blanket, the wheel, inside a blanket, inside an outer bag, with as much inside the wheel as I could, but without it rattling. Very important. What did I do with the rest of the stuff? Because two of us went this year, I had the option of having another bag. So, I had an old suitcase, it's a Roughly the old thing, but it just so happens it's the right size for all of this lot. So this will fit in here, this will fit in here. Uh, it does. And this will fit in. Yep. Now, straightforward, very simple. The other thing I did, I took, again, just an old bag. Throw everything in. Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. And the tools went in. Everything went in. Plonk it in here. Now, spares and tools. If you're doing this, make sure you've got all your tools. You don't need many to do the penny farthing. So you need your Allen key set, pedal wrench, really important, and we've got a crank extractor because I changed the cranks. Now the other things, the packing. Ah, oh, sorry, yes, and of course, a bag for the bearing housings. 
And actually, I just slip in there, there's my spoke key. Always have a spoke key with you. So, packing. This stuff is amazing. If, if you bought things from us, you will know we love cling wrap. It's particularly good for this kind of thing. So you'll see I've cling wrapped the top of the uh, front forks. They've got the bearings on. I didn't want them coming loose. They're also a bit greasy and things. Just a quick wrap protects everything. Um, the brake, which cannot be used in the races, but I didn't want to take that out. And since we, there was some sociable riding where I would turn the brake on, I actually left the cable in. I've just wrapped it up so the cable's not damaging anything, perfectly safe. Very useful if you're traveling. And it's a partial roll, just goes well. We've got the cable ties, for putting things together and actually very important if you're building your own bag the airlines will destroy it in some way they'll find some way of destroying it spare clips so i took a pair of spare clips you'll notice there's one there the reason is they did break a clip so actually i've had to replace a clip very important that you have you think ahead with that so that's the basic packing so I went with two bags and you can see in the picture, that's easy, it did work. It got me there, it's, it happened twice, it's not a problem. The rules for a bike is it needs to be this size, this size, this size. They charge you extra, no problem. I travel with SAS and I will say excellent their, their service and the way they deal with bikes. They do not charge extra for bikes. So bikes are charged as a normal piece of checked luggage. So we traveled with two pieces of checked luggage. Easy. Got to the airport and you, you turn up to, to the check-in and look at the bag and you go, ooh, what's that? You say, it's a wheel. It's a bicycle wheel. Don't elaborate, it's a bicycle wheel. They wanna know how heavy it is uh, and they say it needs to go to oversized luggage. If you had a bike and a bike box, it would have done that anyway. The suitcase, straight off with the bag, bag, standard bags. No problem, it's gone. You then have to walk over to the oversized luggage. Turn up to the oversized luggage. They will look at you and go, oh, that's too big. It's not a problem. They can cope with that. These wheels, it's a 15-inch wheel. I know that people travel with bigger wheels than that. But there is something key here. If you're traveling with a penny farthing, it's too big to be to go through the X-ray machine. Therefore, it needs manual inspection. Manual inspection is quite literally that. You get taken into a room with men with guns, slightly scary. They will ask you to open up the bag. So everything here had to be opened up. So should you have cling wrapped everything and made everything really tight, you'll have to open up all of that because they need to inspect it so in a room open it up they get a little swab they swab it just to check is it a bomb well it doesn't look like a bomb to me but it needs to be done and then you then close it up it goes off it was not a problem um, traveling from Copenhagen which is where I landed for going to Sweden um, dead easy on the train they're used to bikes there the the handles really useful in fact i rolled it down all the conveyors um just fun thing to do um it was not difficult to get there i was able to assemble the penny farthing having done it this way in less than half an hour and i was ready to race last year doing the taking the spokes out it took me about two hours to do to Put everything back together this year a lot easier i would recommend two bags not just the wheel um i think that is is everything but i will say don't be scared of traveling with your penny farthing um we've got some big races on this year not only is the the european championships in belgium there is the world hill climb championships in the south of england 
And of course, there is the big race this year, what's called the Great Race, um, which is in Knutsford in Cheshire, in north of England. Um, it only happens once every 10 years. It is the race that everyone looks forward to because it is such a big event. And hopefully we'll see people turning up from around the world and they'll travel with their penny farthings. So hopefully this video has been helpful to people to understand and work out how to do that traveling. So thank you very much uh, for watching. Could you please do the normal uh, YouTube thing, like the channel, like the video, please comment. We love your comments. So please leave comments and I'll try and reply to, <coughs> to any questions uh, on the comments. So thank you very much for watching. See you at the next one.